Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. One time, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to his wife, Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala anha, and he asked for food. He said, do you remember the sheep that we slaughtered and you were about to cook? Give me some of it. So Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha responded by saying, Ya Rasulullah, we have given away most of it and something little remains. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, In fact, what you have given away is what remains. And what remains is really what we are going to consume and it has been given away. What does that mean, my dear respected brothers and sisters? It means that what we spend, what we spend for the sake of Allah Jalla wa'ala will remain for us. And what we consume will never remain for us. Allah Jalla wa'ala says in the Quran, in an amazing ayah, يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تلهكم أموالكم ولا أولادكم عن ذكر الله ومن يفعل ذلك فأولئك هم الخاسرون وأنفقوا مما رزقناكم من قبل أن يأتي أحدكم الموت فيقول ربي لولا أخرتني إلى أجل قريب فأصدق وأكم من الصالحين What does this ayah or these two ayat mean? It means that when the person is about or when he is on the deathbed he will say oh Allah I ask you to, do, to delay the death little bit. Give me more time. What for? To pray, to go to Hajj, to make istighfar? None of those. But فَأَصَّدَّقَ To give sadaqa. Subhanallah. Because of the impact of the sadaqa. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the good deeds came and to present themselves. And the winner was the sadaqa. My dear respected brothers and sisters, we can talk a lot about the virtues of sadaqah. But needless to say that our brothers and sisters in Syria is really suffering. And all of us have read so many reports about those children who are unable to survive. Why? Because of lack of clothes, lack of medicine, lack of the basic necessities. Reports confirm that more than 8 million Syrians have been displaced. Reports confirm that over 150,000 people were killed in Syria. Reports confirm that there are hundreds of children are dying in this winter. What are we going to do for them? Allah Jalla wa ala will ask every single one of us, let us remember the authentic hadith, in Sahih Muslim, Abu Huraira reported that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said on the day of resurrection, Allah Jalla wa Ala will bring one person and will ask him. He will say to him, O oh my slave, one time I became ill and you did not visit me. So the slave will say, how can I visit you, Ya Allah, and you are the Lord of the universe? Allah will respond to him by saying, didn't you know that on that day, one of my Slaves became ill and you did not visit him. Didn't you know that if you visit him, you will find me there? Means you will find the reward there. Then Allah Jalla wa ala will say to him, Oh my slave, one time I became hungry and you did not provide for me. And the slave will be, one of us will be surprised. Ya Allah, how come this happens to you? Allah Jalla wa ala will respond to him by saying, My my slave, so and so, became hungry and you were aware of him. And you did not provide anything for him. Hadn't you know that if you provide, if, or if you were to provide for him, you will find me there. Which means, you will find the reward of me there. My dear respected brothers and sisters, once a group of people, Bedouin, came to the Prophet ﷺ, and they were devastated, they were very poor, they were hungry, tired. The Prophet ﷺ became angry, really angry. And he gave a khutbah. And he encouraged people to give sadaqah, to give anything as a sadaqah. Clothes, food, anything. So people started to give from their clothes, food as a sadaqah for those people until the Prophet ﷺ became so happy and so pleased. My dear respected brothers and sisters, something small here is worthless, but it will become priceless 
on the day of resurrection. I will ask you, my dear respected brothers and sisters, go everyone to his cupboard. Do you use all your clothes, all your trousers, all your t-shirts, all your shirts? Do all uh, do your children, all of them, use all of the clothes in their cupboards? I challenge that we don't use 50% of our clothes. I'm not asking you to donate 50% of your clothes. I am asking you just to go and check those clothes that have not been used for some time, for a year or so, because it is very unlikely that you are going to use them. Don't you feel sorry for that child who dies because of whether he dies frozen? Don't you want to provide anything for that child? Just go and pick from your children's clothes that they don't use in order to save him. Imagine that one time maybe this happens to our children, to your children, to the children here. Are we going to leave them without supporting them? So my dear respected brothers and sisters, every single one of us should go to the, his clothes, maybe medicine, maybe other useful equipment that we don't use, and let us donate them. And wallahi, we will see the reward of that on not the day of resurrection, but to start with in the grave. When the snake comes to bite us in the grave, the sadaqah will come to solicite and defend us. This sadaqah may be a scarf, may be a piece of clothes, may be some medicine, a small equipment that might help us against the the punishment of the grave, let alone what will happen to us in the day of resurrection, let alone the reward we will get in Jannah. I strongly, from the bottom of my heart, encourage all of you, encourage myself first of all, to go and check, and inshallah, we will find plenty of things, of items, of clothes, of medicine, to be given as a sadaqah for our brothers and sisters in Syria. And Allah Jalla wa Ala will receive it by his hand. And Allah Jalla wa Ala will nourish it until it becomes so big. And to be given to us when we really need it. Jazakumullah khairan.